Again, good morning. This is Jonathan at the National Weather Service in Raleigh. Uh, with this week's um, uh, weekly weather briefing uh, through uh, this Sunday, uh, June 2nd, we'll go ahead and advance to the next slide and talk about this week's weather pattern. Uh, in general, a ridge of high pressure will control the weather um, through much of the work week. That same ridge of high pressure is what's brought the hot and generally dry conditions to our region uh, for um, many of the past several days. Uh, around the ridge of high pressure uh, in the southeast, there's been a very active weather pattern uh, across the plains and the Midwest and now even into the northeast. I'm sure many of you have heard about the severe weather, including tornadoes that have impacted much of those areas. That high pressure area has actually deflected uh, much of that weather away from us uh, and that's why many of those folks are experiencing the active weather. Eventually, as we head into late in the weekend, this weekend, that ridge will weaken a little bit and shift away, and that will allow a couple weak weather systems to impact our area late this week on Friday and perhaps again over the weekend. Unfortunately, those systems are likely to be uh, weak in nature and have limited moisture, and so we do not expect a lot of precipitation to be associated with them. So in general, for the next six, seven days, uh, we expect generally dry conditions uh, to be uh, ongoing across the region. In terms of severe weather, as I mentioned earlier, the ridge of high pressure is deflecting most of the active weather uh, around our area to the west and north, and the severe weather outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center uh, highlight uh, uh, North Carolina as being in uh, no uh, organized severe uh, weather risk. Uh, up in Virginia and in the Mid-Atlantic, uh, uh, much more active weather pattern for us. So at least through Thursday, uh, we don't expect really many, if any, thunderstorms. And what thunderstorms there are, we don't expect any organized severe weather to be associated with them. In terms of rainfall, again, uh, the ridge should keep us generally dry, at least through Thursday, uh, with uh, hot days and lots of clear, hazy skies. Uh, all the precipitation should be off to our north and west. Again, as uh, a couple weak weather systems impact our area on Friday uh, and then into the weekend, uh, some light spotty precipitation uh, may occur. The best chances of showers and thunderstorms uh, over the weekend would be uh, from Raleigh eastward toward the coast, uh, but we don't have a lot of confidence in the precipitation amounts uh, and really the impacts with those. So generally, uh, very little precipitation is expected for the next seven days. And that's starting to have an impact on, uh, uh, you know, uh, drought conditions, which may begin to develop here in the next uh, few weeks. Looking further ahead out for the uh, eight to 14 day period, uh, the outlook from the Climate Prediction Center suggests above normal temperatures are pretty likely across much of the Southeast. And there is a limited chance of slightly above normal precipitation during that period. However, given the time of year and the fact that most of the precipitation is likely to be associated with thunderstorms, which are disorganized and scattered about, uh, not a lot of widespread rainfall uh, probably is likely as we head into early June. With a continued uh, exposure to some high heat and uh, humidity, uh, just a couple of uh, reminders about the uh, impact that can have on various communities uh, and uh, the dangers associated with those. And we have some um, heat safety graphics that we've been featuring on our social media slides, our social media pages uh, to highlight that. And uh, we encourage you to participate in getting the word out on uh, the dangers of the prolonged period of heat. A uh, quick look at the rainfall over the last seven days. Uh, it's been very scattered in nature. More of it's been uh, across the north and west, but really for much of the area, uh, we've had very little, if any, rainfall. In fact, over the past 14 days, there's only been five hundredths of rain, five hundredths of an inch of rain at Raleigh-Durham, seven hundredths of an inch at Fayetteville. Greensboro had a thunderstorm um, uh, that produced a little bit of rainfall, and they've had about four-tenths over the past two weeks, but for most of us, very little, if any, uh, rainfall. And that's uh, beginning to have an impact on uh, uh, drought conditions. This is the drought monitor from last week. It'll be updated uh, later this week on Thursday, and we would expect that abnormally dry conditions would uh, be highlighted across an uh, ever uh, larger portion of the state as uh, the high temperatures and limited rainfall uh, continues. 
One other thing I wanted to mention is uh, rip currents. Now, obviously, here in central North Carolina, that's not a threat, but many uh, residents of this part of the world travel to the beaches uh, this time of year, and there have been a large number of injuries and fatalities in North Carolina associated, associated with rip currents. I believe uh, six or more uh, residents uh, or six or more people have died at North Carolina beaches so far this year. And many of those residents are actually from outside the beach areas in places like central North Carolina. There's a great web page at weather.gov slash rip current that um, helps spread the word about the, this threat uh, to folks heading off to the beaches. And we encourage you to share that as well. Well, back to just the weather and summarizing it for the rest of the week. Uh, we expect continued hot and mainly dry conditions through Thursday uh, with temps and heat indices in the mid to upper 90s across much of central North Carolina. Even hotter values uh, will be uh, uh, occurring down in the Sand Hills and southern coastal plain down near Fayetteville and Goldsboro where heat indices will likely top 100 uh, for Wednesday and Thursday. It will be a little cooler as we head late in the week and into the weekend. Uh, but just a limited chance of thunderstorms and precipitation. And just a reminder that the Atlantic hurricane season officially begins this Saturday uh, and then continues uh, in through October. And now's the time to prepare and to think about what you do if you are threatened again by uh, hurricanes here in North Carolina. Uh, that's it for the weekly briefing. I'll stand by here for any questions. If I don't have any, hope everybody has a good week. And if you ever need to get a hold of us, here at the National Weather Service, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us so we can help uh, provide any weather support you might need.